Yoga Club. To infinity and beyond. Just channeling my inner Buzz Lightyear for this week's Rocket Yoga. Yes, we are bound for outer space and we'll be making space in our bodies with our yoga too. Before we launch ourselves in our rockets, let me just mention the amazing yoga quest, which you can do and we'll get loads out of. Download your free maps at cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest and get started. And please do keep the emails and messages coming to my email, yoga club at cosmickids.com. Now time for a few mentions. Lovely to get a video from Eli and Esme, who are big fans of the yoga videos. Eli, I adore the Zelda games and have done since I was very young, so I am right with you on that idea. And Esme, Mickey Mouse would be fantastic in a yoga adventure. Great ideas, both of you. Thank you for sharing them. Lassia, who is nine and from India, is keen on a mystery-themed yoga adventure, which is lovely. We could solve some clues, be like spies and detectives to get to the bottom of the mystery. That would be a good story. Cecilia, who is five and from Virginia in the US, loves the yoga, especially Star Wars and the Peace Outs. Cecilia would like the peace outs to be a little bit longer though. How cool is that? I love that you're enjoying the guided relaxation, Cecilia. It's so good for your body, mind and soul. Dania, who is seven from Houston, Texas. I was sorry to hear your dog has died. I love your idea to do a dog themed yoga club though, for all the doggies who we love so much. Sending big love to you. A shout out to Sherry, who is loving the yoga clubs and to Bree, who has two little ones, Elliot and Phoebe. They would like to see a Ghostbusters yoga, which is a wonderful idea. And one I've had in the back of my mind for a while. So yes, I will have a go and give that some focus again. And thanks to Nia, who has requested a Peppa Pig yoga adventure. That would be ace. I love Peppa and all the characters in the show, especially Mr. Potato, who is the fitness coach on the TV. Now then, we have a rocket to launch and space to go to. So let's not waste another second. It's time to go full cosmic with our rocket yoga. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Mike the monkey. But no ordinary monkey, oh no. Mike is a space monkey, an astro chimp. So we're going in a rocket to space. Let's go and meet him. We take the train, standing up, putting our arms down by our sides. We pull the horn, hoo hoo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track, faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn, hoo hoo. We're here and Mike does a big monkey jump to welcome us. Crouching down after three, one, two, three. He opens his monkey arms wide and gives us a big cuddle. Ooh! He leads us down through the secret tunnel. Hands down, feet down, into the secret bunker. We sit on our bottoms and put our legs out long in front of us. There are two telephones, a red one and a blue one. The red one rings. Ring, 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 ring. Mike answers. Hello? The evil alien mudfish, Snarge, has taken your friends prisoner on the space station. You must rescue them at once. Hurry! Wow, that's a bit scary. Then the blue one rings. Ring, ring! Ring, ring! Mike answers again. Hello? Your friend, Mutnik, the astro dog, is there already. He will help you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, 
Well, Mike wastes no time at all. He gets into his rocket. Standing up, jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head and point to the sky. He closes his rocket down, jump your feet together, bend forward and sits down in his capsule. He reaches forward and twiddles all of his knobs. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom and count down from five, lifting your hips. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Mike rumbles and jumbles, rumbling and jumbling, rumbling and jumbling with the power as he goes up into orbit. Then silence as he coasts. Lying down, put your arms down flat and lift your legs up to the sky. He controls the rocket using his pedals. Hands behind your head and pedal your rocket slow and fast. And slow and fast. Time to land. Coming into his landing position, Mike tucks himself up into a little monkey ball. He's here. He comes onto his tummy and he peers out of his little rocket window. He's going to get out. Take your feet under, lift your bottom and walk your feet towards your hands. Then open up your rocket and say, hello space, hello space. He wiggles into his space suit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then he takes one small step for monkeys and looks over one side. One giant step for monkey kind and looks over the other side. All of a sudden, a door opens and out comes Mutnik, the Russian astro dog. Hands down, feet down, lift up your bottoms and let's have a Mutnik woof. Woof, 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 woof. How exciting! Mike is so pleased Mutnik's here to help him. They look through their cosminoculars. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> There's Snarge in his mud bowl. Coming onto your tummy, flick your feet towards your bottom. Take hold of your ankles and kick up like a bowl. Mutnik donkey kicks two hoverboards free. Hands down, lift your bottom up and donkey kick your feet. The hoverboards are a bit like skateboards, only without the wheels. They put one foot forward, one foot back and cartwheel their hands back and go whoosh. They go round a corner and jump the other way. Whoosh. And come to a stop. Whoop. Right outside Snarge's mud bowl. They're a bit nervous, so they take a deep breath. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Big breath in, big breath out. Then they take a big squelchy step into the mud. Squelch! And another big squelchy step. Squelch! Snarge, the evil alien mudfish, hears them. He says, Good evening, Mr. Mike and Mr. Mutnik. Come to save your friends. <laughs> oh dear, trapped in a cage is Gladys the spider. Bend your knees. Ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside. And Toby the turtle, sitting on your bottom, take your legs out wide, arms inside and under they go. Both Gladys and Toby look absolutely petrified and Mike can't bear to see them looking so scared. He stands up tall and brave and says, Please, Snarge, see how they fear you. You must let them go. Snarge jumps wide and says, I don't care what they feel or what you feel. I only care about me and my feelings. But all of a sudden, the whole place is hit by a cosmic storm. Millions of mini meteors start rattling against the sides of the station and the whole place begins to spin around in a circle. They haven't got long, they've got to get out. 
Snarge has rolled over onto his back and is holding onto his funny feet, crying for help. Help! He looks like a great big baby. The cages pop open and out come Gladys and Toby, scuttling away. All of a sudden, Mike stops. Hang on! We can't leave Snarge behind. He's truly terrified. We must forgive him. I'm going to go back and save him. And he runs in slow motion back to save Snarge. Snarge is in a puddle on the floor. (laughs) But when he looks up and he sees Mike, his eyes fill with sorrow and hope. Oh, Mike, please take me with you. I'm sorry, I'll stop being an evil alien mudfish. Mike knows that Snarge is being, being real, so he saves him. Standing up, turn yourself around and crisscross your fingers behind your back. He lifts up the evil alien mudfish onto his very strong back and he clumps through the mud. Clump, 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 clump all the way back to the escape pod. They all huddle together in a little scary huddle as they zoom back to the space base. When they arrive, Mike is greeted with a huge cheer. Yay! Everyone is delighted. He saved Gladys and Toby. Mike is so ready for a rest. He takes himself to his favourite spot in the whole space base. A gorgeous, comfy couch where he lays himself down, puts his arms down, puts his head back and just stops for a moment, taking some peace and quiet. Oh, what a mission. He's so pleased he was there to help. And how he learnt to forgive someone who was clearly so bad, so pained, but needed a bit of friendship. Sometimes we have to think what other people are feeling. We can't just think about what our own feelings are. And it's nice just to breathe and have some peace, some calm time. Now, keeping all that peace inside, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your knees up to your chest and give them a little cuddle. Roll over onto your side and slowly come up to sitting with your legs crossed and your hands together at your heart, just the way we started. And we'll finish saying our secret magic yoga code word, Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to space and meeting Mike. You were great. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. It's yoga time. Cosmic Kids for little ones. Oh, Oh, hello. I'm Jamie. I'm just doing yoga. I'm doing rocket pose. I wonder if you can do rocket pose as well. Standing with your feet nice and wide, you lift your arms up above your head and you go whoosh, like you've got a pointy silver rocket going in the sky. Whoosh. Now, rocket pose is a clue about our adventure today. Shall we find out what it is? OK, let's sit down on our bottoms and cross our legs and wiggle our magic fingers to find out. Here we go. Magic fingers, magic fingers, magic fingers wiggle away. Wow, look, we're in space. Today we get to be brave space cadets and go and explore the moon. Now I think we should take a picnic with us. A space picnic. Let's begin by packing our picnic basket. Taking our legs out long in front of us, we bend our knees to touch our toes. Now we lift our arms to open it up. Ready? 
We take our arms out wide and we twist one way to get some bananas. Mmm. We get our bananas, which look a bit like the shape of the moon, and we put them in. Mmm. We take our arms wide and we twist the other way to get some cosmic space cakes. Mmm. We get our cosmic space cakes and we put them in. Mmm. We lift our arms up high, bend our knees a little bit, and we close our picnic basket. <whistles> now we've got everything packed. Let's say goodbye to everyone by giving them a nice big hug. Coming up onto our knees, we take our arms wide and we wrap them up. Bye, everybody. See you soon. And outside, out of the corner of our eye, we spot our rocket coming up to stand in rocket pose. Feet nice and wide and hands up above our heads, ready to go whoosh. Look, it's got big silver wings taking your arms out wide, as wide as they go. I think we should get in. We jump our feet together and we crouch all the way down. We sit down on our bottoms and put our legs out long. Now we're in. Now we need to turn it on, put all the lights and beepers on. So we lean forwards and we twiddle all the knobs to do that. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep. There we go, everything's on. Oh, that's the telephone. Let's answer it. Hello. Oh, hi there. We are clear for takeoff. Great news. Thanks very much. We put the phone down and. The other telephone. Let's pick that up now. Hello. Make sure we do a what? A countdown. Oh, a countdown. Yes, we know one of them. Yet yeah, five to blast off. Yet yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Bye. We put the phone down and we get into our countdown position. Bending our knees, feet flat, hands come behind us, fingers point towards our bottom. Now we lift and lower our hips, counting from five to blast off. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! We take our legs out wide and our arms wide as we rumble up through the sky into space. We go over one way, whoosh! And we go over the other way, whoosh! We go all the way forwards, whee! And then it's warp speed ahead as we lie down on our backs with our arms wide and our legs in the air, floating silently into space, heading towards the moon. Wow! Oh, look, I think we're coming in to land. So let's get into our little landing position. Coming up onto our knees, everyone. We huddle ourselves up into a tiny little landing ball. We're here. Let's wiggle forward and look through the little round window. Coming onto our tummies, we bring our hands under our shoulders and we lift ourselves up to have a look. Wow, look out there. We can see so much exciting stuff. Shall we go and have a walk? Oh yes, let's do that. We come up onto our hands and knees, walk our hands back, tuck our toes and roll ourselves all the way up to stand. We step forward, bring our hands on our hips and step into our space suit. Lifting up one leg, oh, try not to wobble as we step inside and lifting up the other leg, oh, trying not to wobble as we step inside. Now we reach up with our arms for our helmet and we put it down on our heads. We give our ears a little rub, making sure our earpiece is working so we can hear important messages. And we rub our jaws so that we can speak and give important messages. Very good. Time to take a walk. So let's take one big slow step forward, ready? Big, slow step. And another one. Big, slow step. Wow, no gravity makes us walk really slowly. Now I wonder where we should go for our picnic. 
Oh, look over there. There's a cheeky little alien. He's waddling around a bit like a penguin. Coming to stand with our feet together, we turn our toes out and our hands by our side and we waddle around a bit like a penguin or an alien. I am an alien. I am an alien. I am an alien. We go and say namaste to the alien. Bringing our hands together, we bow forward saying namaste. And we come back up to stand. We say, excuse me, but do you know a nice spot for a picnic? The alien points with its green finger up to a mountain and says, Moon Mountain, follow the star. We lower our hand. The mountain, we can see it up ahead. Let's do our mountain pose. Standing with our feet a little bit apart and our arms down by our side, we close our eyes, making ourselves as strong and as still as mountains. When we open our eyes, we do as the alien says. We follow the star and we climb the mountain. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Wow! When we get to the top, we see the whole sky full of sparkly stars. Let's do our star pose, taking our feet wide and our arms wide. It's amazing up here. All the stars make lots of different shapes. These are called constellations. Can you say that word? Constellations? Yes, well done. Now, they're all very twinkly and sparkly and I am sure there is a song about twinkly, sparkly stars. Yes, I think we should sing it together and maybe we can do the actions as we go. OK, let's twinkle our fingers like twinkly stars. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Well done, everyone. That was amazing. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for our picnic. Let's sit down and eat it. We sit down on our bottoms with our legs crossed and we rub a hand on our tummies while we pat our heads at the same time. Mmm, delicious bananas. Yay! Now we swap hands, bringing our other hand to rub our tummies and patting our head at the same time. Ooh, delicious cosmic space cakes. That was scrumptious. Now, it's time for us to go home. And there's only one way down this moon mountain. Snowboarding. Or is it moonboarding? Let's try coming up to stand. We step one foot forward, one foot back, and we bend into our front knee. We reach our arms up and take them wide, ready to go whoosh. Here we go. Whoosh! Now I wonder if we can do it the other way. Let's jump and see. Whee! This is so much fun. And at the bottom of the mountain, our rocket is waiting for us, coming into rocket pose, standing with our feet nice and wide and our hands up above our head. <gasps> Look, we've just seen a shooting star. Take your arms wide and begin to spin. How exciting. Seeing a shooting star is lucky. So why don't we make a wish on it? Yes, sitting on our bottoms, we cross our legs and we bring our hands together at our hearts. We close our eyes so we can focus on our wish. May everyone be happy. May everyone be safe. May everyone be well. We open our eyes. What a wonderful wish. And now it's time for us to go home. So in we get to our rocket and we lie ourselves back as it flies us home, back to planet Earth. We lie back 
and we remember all of those beautiful sparkling stars in the sky. They make us feel all warm and fuzzy. Maybe we can imagine that we've got a little star inside us, sparkling and twinkling brightly. If we put our hands on our tummy, we can feel its warmth inside us. Slowly now we begin to wake up, wiggling our toes, wiggling our fingers, giving our knees a nice big hug, rolling onto our sides and pressing ourselves up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. We finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done, everyone. You were an awesome space cadet. I hope to see you again soon for more yoga time. Bye bye. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Crescent Moon Pose. Bringing our feet together, our arms up above our head, our hands to touch. Let's lean over one way, making ourselves into the shape of a beautiful crescent moon or a banana. Now this pose is brilliant for giving us a big stretch all the way up our sides. It's also great for giving us more space to breathe, better posture and core strength. And it's lovely to do first yeah, thing in the morning yeah, yeah, when we wake up. Let's try it on the other side. Stretching up tall again. Yes, let's lean all the way over the other side like a beautiful crescent moon or a banana. Crescent moon pose or a banana. Peace out. Moon and stars. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to explore the special space in our minds called our imagination. Yes. First, let's get comfy. Choose where you want to be. Lying down or just sit. You decide what feels good and then get settled. This piece out is pretty good for listening to if you're lying on a bed. So if you can, try it lying on a bed. Any last wriggles? OK, have a good wriggle. Go on, let's get them done and we'll be much happier. That's it. Now you're really ready. Keep your eyes open and take some big, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. See if you can take just one more big breath and do this last one as slowly as you can. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Wow, you really did make it a slow one. That was amazing. The next time you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. 
Well done. Let your breathing be normal again. And let's see about making our body super relaxed. Letting go of any holding or scrunching and becoming as soft as a marshmallow. Really squashy and soft. Lovely. Now you're relaxed, you can enjoy letting your mind take you on an amazing adventure. As you listen, the pictures will just appear, like you're having a fun dream. And if you can't see anything in your mind right away, don't worry. Just breathe, relax even more, and keep listening. After a while, you'll find it's all happening without you even having to try. Let's go. Imagine you are lying in your bed. Maybe you really are lying in it. But if you're not, see if you can pretend. It's very comfy and warm snuggled beneath the covers. It's night time and everything is so still. But it's not completely dark. The moon is big and full and bright in the sky. And silver moonlight shines into your bedroom through the window. Magic moonbeams down onto your bed. You are looking at the moon. You can see so much on its surface. Different shades and patches of white and grey. They must be the craters, you think. Doesn't seem so far away right now, as you can see it so clearly. Now you notice the stars too. Scattered all around in the night sky. They look like they're twinkling. Little sparkly dots, jiggling ever so slightly. The more you look, the more stars seem to appear. It's like they are being turned on, just for you. The night really is amazing. And tonight you see the dark as something you can enjoy, rather than be afraid of. There are so many stars now. It feels like they are shining just for you. In your mind, you take a big crayon and start to join up the stars, like a giant dot-to-dot -dot puzzle. What shapes do they make? Is it an animal? A unicorn? A house? Or something else, maybe. Joining the stars together like this, you are making your own special sparkly star pictures. The night sky feels like it belongs to you. And the moon beams brightly, smiling down at you. You feel so very tired now and ready to drift off for a good rest. The beautiful starry night sky above you will always be here, even when you can't see it for the clouds. Know that the sparkling stars are always there, and the moon too, beaming down, sometimes full and round. 
other times only half full. Or just a little curve, like a banana. Thinking about the night like this somehow makes sleep time extra special. The night sky is your friend. If it's time to sleep now, then peace out and good night. You can press stop and enjoy your sleep now. If it isn't quite sleep time yet, then take a second now to feel your body again, where you are sitting or lying. Notice where it touches the floor, the bed or the chair underneath you. Notice the weight of your hands and arms. Can you hear any sounds around you? As you come back to the space around you, take a big deep breath in and sigh out of your mouth. Have a lovely big stretch and nice and gently open your eyes. Take a second just to notice how you feel after that and be happy that you have given your body and mind this lovely time. Well done you. This is Jamie saying peace out.